Welcome once again to Breakfast Central on a Monday morning. Now, let's begin the conversations in North Africa. A really sad story there where Morocco is facing the impact of the deadliest earthquake in decades. It has so far killed more than 2,000 people. Now, as troops and emergency services scramble to reach you know, remote mountain villages where victims are still feared trapped, the 6.8 magnitude quake struck late Friday in a mountainous area 72 kilometers southwest of the Toro city of Marrakesh. With strong tremors also felt in the coastal cities of Rabat, Casablanca, Eswera, the quake caused widespread damage and sent terrified residents and tourists scrambling to safety in the middle of the night. Authorities announced three days of national mourning with flags to fly at half-mast on all public buildings. Meanwhile, in Marrakesh, the alleys of the historic Jewish quarter of the Medina are littered with debris and collapsed old buildings. Um, you know, very, very sad um, situation there in Morocco. Of course, uh, other countries have uh, uh, sent their condolences and, of course, we'll be sending some help and some assistance to that country to assist them, you know, in this very trying time. Right. It occurred on Friday. I remember the very first stories that broke, you know, showed the death toll at 200 and then it continued to rise to 400, 800. And as of this morning, we're talking more than 2,000 people confirmed dead uh, yeah. with the death toll, of course, likely to continue to rise. Um, it's it's really, really heartbreaking. Very heartbreaking. Uh, countries around the world have started to send in support. King Mohammed VI has thanked Spain, Qatar, the United Kingdom and United Arab Emirates for sending and following the earthquake, um, sending help and following the earthquake, following the earthquake uh, that struck. There have been several eyewitness reports. There was one of a man who had, he, he has three kids and he said he watched his city literally. He was born there, lived there and saw the city you know collapse into a rubble and it's, it's been quite quite a very inter uh, unfortunate conversation yeah. there was also the story of a, a family seeking shade on the soccer field where they spent the night i mean just watching the videos seeing them crying it's been such a heartbreaking uh, situation the u.s has also made clear to the Moroccan government that it's prepared to provide significant assistance following the de devastating earthquake they've also got such and rescue teams that they're ready to deploy that can be of help not just with the activity but with medicals and also with other forms of assistance uh, that's the update that we have we hope that uh, the people of morocco now it's a morning it's a time of mourning we hope that the rest of africa and the rest of the world can send their condolences and their thoughts and prayers to the people of morocco but beyond the condolences they need help now in terms of aid financial aid resources and aid to be able to help them get out uh, as, as many people as are trapped beneath the rubble we hope that there are less casualties going forward mm -hmm.